Hey there, it's Jake from Texla, and today we're going to be talking about how to connect your Texla account to a Google form through Zapier to trigger an outbound text uh, when someone fills out the form. So essentially what this flow would look like is someone fills in your form with their information, put in their phone number, and then once they submit it, it automatically triggers a text to go out to that number, um, just whatever text you kind of write up. So uh, to first jump into it, make sure that you do have a Google form created. Um, this is just an example. We've got first name, last name, email, phone number in here, but it can have whatever information you'd like. Also, if you'd like it to automatically trigger to create a contact inside of Texla, um, I'll leave the link to that video down below and you can have both of those running at the same time. So they get created as a contact and they also get a message when they first sign up. So the first thing we're going to do is click this create button in Zapier and then click on Zaps. And then we're going to click on trigger, search for Google Forms, select it. Um, so for the event, we're just going to do new form response. So when somebody enters a new form info and submits it, uh, next step is just to connect your Google account to kind of pick up those forms. Make sure it's the Google account that the form that you created is connected to. And you can also change it um, if you need to. And then we'll go to the trigger. So this is going to be the form that you're pulling that info from. So if you haven't created it yet, go ahead and create it. And then once it's published, you can hit this refresh results button to populate the new kind of forms uh, and also make sure that you title the form so you can know which one you're trying to select. So we'll select the SMS forms and hit continue and then we'll just test it. This is going to pop up some uh, form responses that came through uh, just for like example data. So we can just continue with one of the records. Then we're going to go on to the action. So we'll search Texla. Click on Texla, and for the event, we're going to do send message, and then we can hit continue, continue, and then the action. You're going to choose which phone number you want it to come from. If your phone number is not verified inside of Texla, if it's like pending verification or the verification has not come through, it will not show up here. So just be sure that when you go to Texla, I'll move my face. Uh, be sure that your number is showing that it's in a verified status or else it will not appear in Zapier. And if you have any questions about the verification, feel free to just shoot me an email at jakeatexa.com and I'm happy to reach out and help out. So uh, we'll just select the number we want it to go from. You can also refresh results if the verification just came back. Um, we'll click the number and then the two phone number, you're going to want to select uh, the phone number section in your Google form. So whatever they type in for the phone number, that's what it's going to attempt to send the message to. Uh, and just keep in mind, there's no kind of validators inside of Google Forms. So if they put in an invalid number, um, the message will try to send and just come back and fail. And you will not be billed uh, for that send if it's like an invalid number that doesn't actually exist. Next up is the message. So there's some really cool things you can do inside of the message. You can have like autofill data. So we can do, hey first name is Jake from Texla, but you can kind of have anything autofill. So any form fill you have in that form, any section, you can have it autofill. So um, if they put in their company name, you can say, hey, first name from company name, you know, you can get really creative with it to just autofill whatever data you really want to send out. Um, and then once you have the kind of message written up, we can click continue and we'll test the step and then we can publish it. Awesome, so it is now published. So we'll just show you an example of what this flow is gonna kind of look like. So let me pull up this Google form real quick. Sweet, we'll just type in our name, email, and phone number, we'll just leave last name blank, um, and we'll submit it. So once this is submitted, uh, you can go over to your Texla account, 
Awesome. So you can go into Texla and you can see that um, after that form was filled, we sent a text. Hey, Jake, it's Jake from Texla. Reply stop to opt out. And that's the message we put in. So um, super awesome stuff that you can do with Zapier. If you're interested in learning more about some other tools you can use to connect uh, Texla with through Zapier, feel free to just check out our help articles in the description. I'll link it to a whole knowledge base where we have everything you can do um, and all the other tools you can connect it to. And it's going to constantly be updated. Um, so if anyone has any questions for me or the support team, feel free to just reach out to us at support at and we'd be more than happy to help out. Have a great rest of your day.